everybody and welcome to the Daily Scoops, 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 Scoops for the 14th of June. So today, Mercury makes a set style to Tyron, the moon's north node goes direct, the moon enters its first quarter moon phase, the moon void of course starts at 6.19am, the moon enters Virgo at 7.25am, the sun makes a conjunction to Mercury at 5.33pm, Mercury enters Gemini at 6.36pm, the Sun enters Gemini at 7.58pm and Mars makes a semi-square to Saturn. So I've done a separate audio about the Sun entering Gemini and Mercury entering Gemini as well, so check out the playlist for those. So Mercury in Chiron helps us to have more understanding and empathy within ourselves and our relationships, helping us to have more healing thoughts and conversations and behaviours. Negatively, it can make us over-analyse past words and actions of ourselves and others, and this can just lead to us feeling emotionally, psychologically, or spiritually overwhelmed, or cause communication breakdowns. So the best use of this energy is to engage in therapy, counselling, or have heart-to-heart talks that sort of like promote emotional healing and growth. The moon's north node going stationary direct can bring more clarity around our life purpose and direction and just bring the sense of us being aligned with our truth path. But circumstances on a negative end can just feel unsettling because it's, you know, a lot of this week's energies and this energy, um, you know, can drag us out of our comfort zone. So just use this energy to reflect on our long-term goals and make decisions that are um, sort of like in alignment with who you really want to be. The first quarter moon um, provides us with the motivation to overcome challenges, but we can sort of like become impatient under this influence and, and also it adds to us feeling overwhelmed just by our tasks and responsibilities and that so you know just break things down into smaller steps be gentle with yourself if you're going to miss a deadline just be open and honest um, about it rather than you know avoiding confronting matters at the moment when the moon enters virgo it also allows us to focus on practical matters become more organized and pay attention to detail but it can also add to us being overcritical of ourselves and others. The best use of this energy is to do things that require kind of like clarity, concentration, um, create structured routines and prioritise self-care. The Sun's conjunction um, to Mercury can increase our communication skills and clarity of thought and can make us to seek out more intellectual stimulation. But negatively, we can become overly opinionated and just wasting our time debating. So the best use of this energy is to express ourselves creatively, engage in meaningful conversations, brainstorm new ideas, and just be open to newness. So Mercury in Gemini, I just talk about it a bit here. It just adds to us over the next three to four weeks being able to have more sort of like creative conversations and mental flexibility. So good for technical tasks, intellectual research and um, communication. It gives us like a sort of like superpower in conversations and negotiations and problem solving. Negatively, we can become too scattered in our thoughts, too superficial and it can just lead to information overload and the tendency to jump from one topic to another without digging too deep into any to the waste in this energy so you know although you may be curious a lot <laughs> over the coming three to four weeks just try to pick two to four things to focus on mats so the best use of mercury and gemini is to use it for brainstorming networking and quick decision making and expressing yourself clearly and engaging in stimulating discussions that can sort of like open you up to new ideas and perspectives. So the sun entering Gemini adds to this curiosity and flexibility and sociability, just wanting us to you know spend more time doing the things that bring us joy. And for some of you, it'd be on your own, but for many of you, under this influence, it'd be with other people as well. And it just allows us to connect more effortlessly with others and embrace change with open arms and explore different interests. It can lead us to being indecisive and restless and we can find ourselves becoming bored or craving constant stimulation and variety. So this can make it challenging to focus on long-term goals or commitments. So the best use of this energy is to learn new skills, socialise with different people 
and adapt to different environments and to just, you know, just being open to the summer and the good vibes it brings. Mars is semi square to Saturn and is good for self discipline, setting strategic goals, and working on your long term plans as well. And it provides the motivation for us to overcome obstacles and challenges and just be more resilient and persistent and have more determination. But negatively, it can add to delays in our plans and just trigger our frustration. So we just have to be mindful, cautious of. Um, conflicts that can come because we want action we want it now 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 but things are going slow so just you know although you may want things soon you don't want to come just try and balance assertiveness with patience the best use of this energy is to sort of like just do things that are structured require focus and discipline and practicality as well and to think about any challenges that come up right now in a sort of like more logical methodical way and this will help you build a stronger foundation for your future success so content creators can talk about how we can bring more healing into our life and into our relationships and into the way we communicate how we can be more thoughtful with our words and actions how we can be open to change after staying in our routines for you know forever how we can become more motivated on making progress and overcoming obstacles giving tips and strategy and how we can become more organized and pay more attention to detail and you know giving productivity hacks and tips and um, tips on how we can improve our life especially um, our efficiency and just talking about how we can gain more clarity and sort of like in our relationships within ourselves and how research and logical and intuitive thinking um, can help us and how we can sort of like um, become more curious about life, more flexible in our hobbies, values without, you know, moving away from our core values. But a lot of the time our values and beliefs can stop us, imprison us from the new. And just talking about how learning new skills and connecting with others through creative expression can just help us feel more aligned and open and in tune with life and just talking about how being playful as well with ourselves especially when life throws crap at us you know and tips on how we can sort of like overcome the tension that challenges bring and how hard work is necessary to achieve our long-term goals and talk about tips that can help us plan our long-term strategies and become more resilient and determined and how we can push through difficulties to reach success and do you know just anything that motivates, inspires and encourages people to stay committed to what they really want despite their many many failures and explaining how failures are the route to success so yeah that was the daily scopes 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 for the 14th of june